Welcome to the best of first person episodes from Phantoms and Monsters. Please like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon so you'll be notified of all future uploads. Dragon flying over South Jersey. Last weekend I was driving on Marshallville Road by the river near Tuckahoe, New Jersey. I don't know the time, but it was dusk, and the sky was light enough to see anything in the sky. I caught a glimpse of a huge flying creature crossing the roadway approximately 100 feet in the air. I swear it was shaped like a dragon, silhouetted against the lighter sky, flying south towards the state forest. I looked at it for almost 10 seconds. The wings were wide and there was a long tail. The head was licky at that of an unknown reptile. It was dark in color and flapped the giant wings, which had to be 30 feet or more in width. There was another car behind me, they definitely saw it by the expression on their faces. I pulled over and the two people in the other car looked over when they passed me, pointing to the sky. I tried to get them to stop, but they were moving by too fast. I lowered my window and yelled, but they continued on. When I stuck my head out of the window I immediately smelled a foul stench and felt warm down drafts. It was very weird. I'm not naive and I know that this could not have been an actual animal. I almost feel like I entered a time warp at the time this creature appeared. For the rest of the evening I had a physical reaction similar to jet lag. I haven't said anything to anyone else, I live alone and retired. I've lived in this area for most of my life, and I've never experienced anything like this. There has been no mention of this in the local news. I may have seen something I shouldn't have. Sir, what are your thoughts? Malcolm. Flying over South New Jersey, Dragon, Pterosaur what? I just read about that flying dragon over South New Jersey in Weird, New Jersey, and I have a very similar experience, twice. First time was about three years ago in March. I was driving near Marlton, New Jersey, and the Varese area at around 3 p.m., looked up and seen this huge creature flying. I was in complete shock because I could not believe the size of this thing, and the sun was still out at the time, so I had a pretty good sight of it. It was no bird because it did not have feathers nor fur. These gigantic wings like a bat or tillion head. Exactly like how the other person described. I was in the car with family and by the time I could get a word out of my mouth and point at it, it had already flown away. Its skin color was like a light beige, and it didn't even flap its wings. Kind it just glided. It was flying very low as well, almost resembled a pterodactyl. Second time was actually in Greece. Again, driving home at night last year around 9 p.m. October 30th. I saw the same exact body shape but slightly smaller and flying lower than the first one. Freaky thing of this one was that its eyes glowed this crazy bright red. Like car lights. The eyes on it freaked me out so much I couldn't tell anyone for at least two days. This one also had a darker skin tone, or maybe it was just the time of day I saw it. I had a very good look on both creatures, I'm very aware of all the animals that live around me. This is not like anything I have ever seen. I did not experience any foul sense because I did not roll down my window or exit my car. Just wanted to share my part maybe it would have helped. Thanks for reading. RF. Another dragon over New Jersey. I just read your post about the dragon sighted over southern New Jersey. It took me by surprise because I had a similar experience in the mid-80s when I was still a kid, about 10 years old, I think. It was before noon, in the springtime, and I was biking around a local ballpark by my house. Nottingham Baseball Field in Hamilton, New Jersey. There were no games scheduled that day, so I was alone, as far as I could tell. There was a play area and a pond by the woods that I would frequent, when I was bored, in the hopes of finding other kids to play with. About halfway there, while looking up at the clouds and sky, I saw what I thought was a plane coming from the south. There's a small airstrip by us, and there were some very cool biplanes that would fly by from time to time. My favorite was a Red Baron style one, and I thought that was it, because of the color. I stopped and turned to watch, and wave, it's what kids do. When the plane gave its wings a single, long, flap, that's when I realized it wasn't a plane. It was a dragon. There is no doubt in my mind. It was dark red, and I could see the sun shimmering off its scales as it got closer. Needless to say, I didn't wave. I felt frozen to the spot, dumbstruck, a little scared, and very, very excited. 
It was huge, flying at about the same height as the biplanes do, and it didn't make any sound as it went overhead. Just gliding. It was like a classical European dragon, but the proportions were a little different. When it was right overhead I felt a blast of heat. I assumed it was its fiery breath at the time. I was absolutely vibrating with excitement and looking around frantically for anyone else that might be around. The ball fields were empty, no one was outside in the nearby houses. It kept going at a steady clip, and right before it disappeared over the tree line to the north, it gave another slow flap of its massive wings. I turned right around and sped out of the park hoping to find someone else who saw it too. No one, everyone was inside their homes that early. When I got home I realized no one would believe me. So I never told my parents. They'd think I was making it up. Instead I told my older sister, but she said I probably saw a hang glider or a fancy plane. It was such an odd sighting I never perused it further. Nice to see the dragons are still flying over New Jersey though. Thanks for all you do, your blog is awesome. D. Dragons observed flying over Central Florida. I saw something amazing flying beings. It happened about six years ago when I was staying with some friends in a small town, about 30 miles north of Orlando, Florida. It was in July and every night I'd go outside to check out the night sky. It was about 9 p.m. and I had gone out to do my nightly thing, but when I looked up at the moon, which was almost directly overhead, I actually looked away to rub my eyes because I couldn't believe what I saw. But when I looked back, it was still there no illusion. There, flying around the moon, in a clockwise direction, from my point of view, were these enormous beings, which looked like flying dragons. By the very slow swoop of their bat-like wings, I could tell they were truly huge. There were dozens on them, but when I looked up higher, there were tiers and tiers of them, all circling in the same direction, and there must have been over a hundred of them. They were all black, being silhouetted by the moon above them, so I could see no colors or details. They were reptilians. I estimate the lowest ones were about 500 feet up, but it's hard to know for sure. It was a really frightening sight, and I wondered if they could see me standing down there on the dark driveway. Not a very comforting thought. I wanted to run to get my friends, to witness what I was seeing, but was afraid of what I might miss. Just then, I noticed an enormous craft, slowly approaching from the right of where the beings flew. It was around a dozen times the width of the moon and blacker than black, and the classic saucer shape, but there was no dome, or any lights or windows. But I noticed something I'd never heard mentioned before, and that was there was this eerie black wispy curling mist, all along the edge of the ship, which I thought it must be some type of cloaking device. The ship was totally silent as it slowly approached where the creatures flew, never speeding up, or slowing down, or stopping. Finally it engulfed the entire area where the dragons flew, and when it inched away, the night sky was again empty, save for the cold stars and the gibbous moon. I directly went inside and told my friends what I'd just seen. Being the skeptics they are, they said I'd probably only seen bats or birds, but I know what I witnessed, and it was something I'd never before seen, and hope to never see again. I do have an idea of what had happened, only a guess. You know how when people are out boating, they will sometimes jump into the water for a refreshing swim. Well, maybe those reptilians left their craft to stretch those terrible wings, and were just circling there, waiting for their ship to catch up with them, to get back on board. That's only a guess, and who knows what evil mischief they had really been up to. For days and days after that experience I worried they might return to do some harm to me for spying on them, but thankfully, if they saw me, I wasn't considered a threat. This is a true experience, and one that is enough to last a lifetime. KL This is Lon Strickler. If you like this program, it would help us if you would give it a thumbs up. Then subscribe and click the bell icon so you get notification when we upload new first-person encounters. We have many more to come very soon. And by the way, if you have a suggestion or an experience of your own, please leave a comment.